Coach, coming off of a split with a solid Minnesota Duluth team, continuing in CHC play, going on the road at Omaha, as what's kind of the, the message to really try to keep building off of uh, the progress that the team made last uh, year? The message today was we, we need to control getting better today. Um, the weekend's over with. We I, I look at it from 30,000 feet, and I think it was a good weekend. It by no means was bad, and it wasn't great. Um, uh, I think Minnesota Duluth is, is, a, is, is a really good team. They're, they look the way we want to look. They're, they're big. They, they, they skate. They defend. Um, they fight you for every inch of the ice. Um, and, and I thought over six periods, our guys hung in there. You know, I thought on I, I stick by what I said on Saturday. There was too many passengers on Saturday. There wasn't wasn't enough guys involved and and we need to have everybody um our goaltending was good ryan was as good as he's been back-to-back -back nights all year long which was great gave us a chance um the special teams we actually won the special teams but uh well we won it on saturday for sure and lost the game that doesn't happen very often um so there's there's lots of positives to come from the weekend um but i think the way we defended and the way we competed most of the time I know after the game on Saturday, I didn't think we were as competitive, and we weren't as competitive on Saturday's game. But when I look at over six periods against that team, the way we defended, the way we competed, I thought was pretty good. So that's the takeaway. Um, we need to be that no matter what. And uh, today we had an opportunity to, to get better. As you like to mention of having competition for lineup spots and it bringing the best out of people, you got uh, another person piece of the puzzle back last weekend with Alec Mahalik on the blue line, kind of a full deck to work with there. Yeah. What what kind of impact did, did that make of having him back out there for a few games? I, I, I didn't know much about him as a player, Chad. I mean, I've spent some time with him as a boy, and I, I, I don't know when it was that he got hurt, but it was training camp, and it was all happening really fast for me, just in terms of evaluating and so on. But uh, he, he he brings a presence back there in terms of calming. I mean, he's not 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 the biggest guy, but he so it's not necessarily a physical presence, um, but he, he he's really calm with the puck I think he does the right thing most of the time um, and I, I thought he fit right in for someone that's been out um, as long as he has you know my conversation with him was how, how did you feel and I think the the quad started to burn a little bit late in the shift and and, and and as the weekend went on but all in all it was a it was a positive step forward for Alec and I think um, now with nine guys back there and we're looking to dress seven it's going to have to bring out the, the, the best in people Speaking of other injury concerns, do you have any other uh, guys to look out for health-wise you know, over the next week or two? Uh, well, Ben Lowne's been out, and that's too bad. I mean, he, he's somebody that solidified himself in our lineup as a contributor. And, um, we, we need him back. You know, he, 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 right now, he's really the only one um, with, with anything more, more long-term. Um, uh, but it, it should be week to week for him. Um, other than that, it's just kind of middle of the first half, you know, bumps and bruises, nothing you really haven't seen before. And then with the win on Friday and then the loss on Saturday, besides having too many passengers, did you notice any other big differences between the two games? Uh, not really. I mean, the biggest, the biggest, probably the difference outside of us was them. I thought they were they were uh, really good on Saturday. Um, I I didn't I didn't love the fact that you know we took six penalties on Friday I believe and and, and we and we took six penalties on Saturday. I didn't love the way those penalties felt on Saturday night. I, I we really put ourselves in a tough spot um, a few different times and um, there, there was a great kill at the beginning of the third that comes to mind as a as a good step forward for our group in a one goal game against a really good team we found a way. But I just I, I was disappointed in the number of penalties we took uh, as that game went on. I thought there was some really untimely poor decisions by our team, which it hasn't been it hasn't been a characteristic of this group. You know, like we're taking poor penalties at poor times. But I thought Saturday we put ourselves in a tough spot a few times. A month and a half in now, uh, do you feel like your guys are trending in the right direction overall or where you really want them to be? I do. Um, I do. I, I feel like watching us play on tape, uh, especially in the defensive zone. We obviously, we, 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 I don't think 
well, we, we had north of 30 shots between the two games combined, but I think it was 17 and 18 or something like that over the course of the weekend. Obviously, that's not good enough. So there wasn't much going on in the offensive zone, or at least not enough. But I thought that we were really trending in a good way in the defensive zone, the way we were taking away time and space and defending. And I liked the fact that we were sharing the puck a little bit on our exits and our breakouts. I thought we, we did a nice job. And it's kind of resembling what we wanted to resemble. Um, and I, I think six, eight weeks in, that's what you can expect. And um, I like the fact that our guys got a taste of, of, of success against a really good team because that's something that we're trying to build confidence. We're trying to get them to believe in what we're saying. It's not necessarily buy-in because I do think they're bought in. They're trying. Um, but uh, it, it's nice to, for, for them to see it work against a really good team uh, like what happened on Friday. So I, I think we're trending in the right direction. You've got a lot of re those really good teams in your conference. How much does that help you going forward saying, hey, you know, we can compete with these guys? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, you know, that's, that's what I'll say. I mean, it looks like North Dakota and Minnesota Duluth are two of the better teams in the league just by the, by, by the you know, I don't want to take away anything from Western or Colorado College or Denver, but – I mean, these are the two we've seen. And in the hardest place to play in our league, by the sounds of it, I, I, I don't know that for facts, but that's, uh, it was a really hard place to play in North Dakota. And then I know how difficult of a team uh, Minnesota Duluth is to play against. And I think, without, with the exception of, of, of that, that really poor, poor outing on Friday night at North Dakota, I think we've, we've, we've given ourselves a chance in the last three games. And, and uh, it hasn't been perfect, but... Um, I, I feel like our, our guys are at least getting a taste that if we play the game a certain way, we give ourselves a chance, and we have to do that no matter what. Looking forward, what are some of the big challenges or, or big things to look out for against Omaha this upcoming week? Well, weekend? first and foremost, I think that just the travel. And then secondly, uh, um, they're coming off a really big win. Anytime you go into Lawson and win, uh, it, 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 it's a big win. And, and they, they did that Saturday night at, at, uh, at Kalamazoo. And um, I think they'll be, they'll be confident. So, we, we, you know, this early in the week, we don't know a whole lot about them just yet. And, and all the coaching staff is going to know is what we see on tape. So we'll, we'll study, and, and, and we know that this is a confident bunch and, uh, and the travel. So we got to get there and get ourselves right and get ready to, get ready to work. Alec, kind of situations kind of put you right into the fire of making your season debut last weekend against the two-time defending champs. Uh, I guess first and foremost, how did you feel out there from a physical standpoint of shaking off the rust? Uh, I felt pretty good out there. Um, obviously, it was a little bit of a, an adjustment just having been my first game in so long. Um, but overall, I felt pretty good. And, you know, it helped that our team played well overall throughout the whole weekend. Um, we got the split, obviously, but even on Saturday, there's a lot of good things to take away from that, that game. So, Do you feel like with it being your first weekend back that you communicated well and kind of meshed with the guys well on the ice? Um, yeah, I think uh, there was a good communication, just with, especially throughout our D, uh, which made it uh, easy on me just to get back. And um, the guys definitely helped me out uh, a lot. So. And then what was Coach's message to you and the team after uh, this weekend? Uh, the whole message was just um, take away the positives and uh, look forward to, you know, having a good weekend here in uh, Omaha. So, you're a month and a half in. What's kind of the overall mood of the team that you've noticed um, at, you know, kind of at the moment? Uh, I think the the mood's good, especially coming off the, off of this past weekend. Um, you know, our Saturday in North Dakota, we put up a really good fight, and then both of these games, obviously, we came away with a win on Friday. And it came right down to the wire on Saturday. So, I mean, we've been playing good hockey these last three games. And uh, we just want to keep that momentum going uh, as we head into next weekend. Obviously, it helps to have Ryan Larkin playing the way that he did uh, against Minnesota Duluth last weekend. But you know, defensively, especially at five on five, seemed there wasn't a whole lot being given up by that unit. What was working for that five man unit to kind of help uh, frustrate a pretty potent offense? Uh, yeah, I think we just stuck to the game plan, and uh, everyone did their job well, and that's that's important for the way we play. Is every uh, each man has to be accountable for their job, and um, I thought Larkin played really well, especially um, there's a few penalty kills where he really bailed us out, uh, especially that five on three there on Saturday. He played uh, extremely well, so yeah, I think our whole uh, defense in general just bought in and uh, did their job. And taking that into Omaha, a team you've played a lot of games with over the last couple of years and a team that can really put a up a lot of crooked numbers, I guess, what's 
kind of the further development, uh, especially on the penalty kill side, to really have everything in ship shape to give you a chance this weekend? Uh, I think the first thing is we just got to stay out of the box as much as we can. Um, we took way too many penalties, especially on Saturday. Um, and then we just been, you know, we've been working on it. And uh, I thought we brought some, uh, there's a lot of positives, obviously, from this past weekend. We killed off a lot. Uh, we killed off that five on three. And um, I think it's just, you know, learning from the mistakes we made and uh, continuing to get better and work at it.